Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video, I'm going to be going over how to complete Tall Tale 2 of the new Pirate's Life called The Sunken Curse. Now a disclaimer, if you want to find the journals, this video will not tell you, I couldn't find them myself, and I'm waiting on a guide as well. But anyway, let's get right into it. So first of all, once you follow the wreckage and you're at the sea floor, look for these big plumes of bubbles. Um, it might take you a while, but once you get in random distance, as you can see, I've just seen them uh, in this clip. So just swim towards these and uh, eventually the black pearl will appear. Now anyway, once you've found the black pearl, what you want to do is follow exactly as I'm doing here. So you're going to have to swim right to the front of the ship. Now you may think it's where, you know, the normal place to go down into the second layer is on a galleon, but it's not, it's right at the front. So then go behind the staircase and there's a small little gap which you can swim through um, and then there's another small gap to the right. Uh, once you've done this, once you're into this main part, there'll be a dead, like, uh, crab boss, or whatever they're called, uh, and you'll be able to pick a key up, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Now, once you've got the key, you want to swim over to where the captain's cabin would be. The key will unlock the door, and you'll be able to grab Jack's compass. Now, once you've done that, you'll be able to swim out after you've got Jack's compass. You can either follow the compass, or just look at these huge glowing bits of coral, and this will lead you to the cave where you have to go to. Once you're in the cave, right at the end, there'll be a small coral block, which you'll have to hit to get through to the next section. Now, here's a part of the tale which is very, very confusing. Now, for the first two statues, they are right next to the writing, so they should be very easy to spot. I'll show a picture of the configuration right after I've shown this clip, because the clip was very, very long. It was like five minutes, so I spent ages trying to figure it out. But anyway, behind the main bugle statue, the fine, there's a final statue. So directly behind the, um, the main painting. And then you want to align this as I'm doing right now. Once you've got this mermaid statue perfect, you want to shoot or hit the main bugle player in the centre. Now, a yellow glow that's showing here doesn't mean you've completed it. Well, it does mean you've completed it, but it also shows if you've done it wrong. But anyway, if you've done it correct, the waters actually will rise. Um, and the waters will rise, meaning you can get onto a small platform like so. Anyway, this is how a chain statue should look. And this is how a coral statue should look. To get to the next section, you want to jump on this geezer. Uh, and if the geezer doesn't work, shoot the mermaid statue at the bottom again, and it will cause this to trigger, and um, you'll be able to use it. So firstly, this is the configuration for the chain statue, which is on the right of the big painting. Now for the statue on the left, you need to put the heart in, the mermaid heart, and you get this from killing the monsters that spawn at the start. Once you've picked up the heart, what it will mean is you'll be able to put it in and you'll be able to configure the statue. And this is the correct configuration for the coral statue. Then you want to look up to your left, up on this big rock, and you'll see the final mermaid statue. To try and speed this up, I put it in two times speed, but I'm shooting it to the configuration that you want to get it to. Now, once you've done that, you want to hit the big bugle playing statue as you did in the previous one, and then the water will suddenly start to fill. You know you've done it right if the mermaid singing starts. Now, some people were saying that there's a third layer to this, but I didn't have to do it. In the first time I did this, I didn't have to do any of it, as it had already been done by the crew before me, so this may happen to you. But anyway, once you've done this, you get to a big door, and you want to hit this door like so, and it will open. Now go to the Black Pearl, or if you die, you will respawn there, so whatever you do, you will end up there. Then swim from the Black Pearl to these parts where the coral is glowing. Now you will need to fight and kill the Siren uh, like leader here, uh, as he will drop apparently a heart, um, which you need to put into one of the um, statues. Now you don't need to shoot it here, I just did because I got confused. Um, but anyway, once you've done this, once you've got to this part, then bring the heart with you. Now the reason I'm not carrying it at the moment is someone else was doing the tail with me, and they already had the heart with them. Once you put the mermaid's heart in, I'd recommend you go and get oxygen because it'll be a, quite a long swim through the tunnel. So get oxygen before you do it, as otherwise you will drown. Anyway, then what you want to do is you want to go to this big statue to your left. You want to go and hit that or shoot it. And once you've done that, then the door will start to open. Once you've opened the door, you have to swim through some tunnels and the tunnel will be the furthest one on the left. This level genuinely scarred me for life. It's probably the worst level I've ever done just because of how hard it was the first time I did it. But follow the patterns I'm doing, just follow the way I'm hitting it. Um, the reason is, the reason it took me so long is these patterns at the start aren't too difficult, but they don't match up perfectly. So uh, it's a bit difficult if you haven't done it before. Um, but the reason this took me so long is I didn't realise you had to go to the ceiling and um, hit a bugle person with your sniper. I thought the sniper was just the start of another level, which I believe it is. But you have to get your sniper out, as I'm doing now. Uh, and shoot this bugle player. If you got the pattern correct and you've done this, then it will work and you'll be able to proceed to the next level as the waters will drain. 
Once the waters have drained, you'll have a, a small fight against all of the new enemies, so all the crab bosses and ocean crawlers. And once you've done this, then they'll disappear and you'll be able to use the pulley. Now for this pulley, you have to use it invertedly, so you have to push up on your left stick if you're on Xbox, I'm not sure this is for PC, but once you've done that, then slow the door fully as the door will start to rise again. Now for this level, follow exactly what I'm doing. Firstly, go to the pulley system and lower the shipwreck. Once you've lowered the shipwreck fully, you want to go and jump on the middle of it like I'm doing here. Once the shipwreck is raised, you can jump onto the platform to your right and run across. Now, there is actually a journal in this small cabin, so if you want to get it there, then go for it. But I didn't because I'd already got it. Anyway, go down this small tunnel to this little cave. Now, have a patterns exactly as I've got them. So this is the chain person, this is the coral person, and the next one I'm going to show you is the gem. Now, if anyone has snipe exactly where I'm sniping, and this will hit the bugle person, and after you've done this, you'll hear a sound, then you'll hear the singing, and finally you'll hear the waters rising in the other room, which will allow you to complete this section of the tale. This was made very poorly, this part, as not everyone knows to go down the tunnel and change it, as they've already done that in the previous level, and it's almost impossible to see the bugle player unless you have uh, guidance beforehand. Now then, follow what I'm doing, so you want to jump onto this ladder here, and then use the pulley system. You want to pull this bridge up, and once you've pulled the bridge up, all you can do is jump over, then jump onto the part of the ship, run to this small cave, and grab the key. Once you've grabbed the key, jump back across, go up the ladder, you can raise the pulley system without dropping the key, so you raise this little bridge again, and once you've done that, you can just jump into the next room to your right. Now once you're across the bridge and in this little section, just run through, ignore everything else, then drop the key right at the edge, do not leave it, but then shoot this part of this little coral here, grab the key and go through the door. Then go to the coral on your left, and once you've done that, you'll get onto the main hull of a ship. After this, you just want to walk to the end to the captain's cabin, and this is where the key will unlock. The key will unlock the door here, and you can grab the chest of sorrows. Now after this, guards will be summoned, which you need to attack. Now you can fight these using the cannons on the silver blade. Now after you've killed the first wave, what you want to do is you want to go to this anchor that's right here. Raise the anchor fully. Now raise this until you can't anymore, as more guards will spawn, and the ship will slowly lower, so you need it to be quite high. Anyway, deal with these guards, and then after this, the Kraken will spawn. So after you've fought the second wave, start raising the ship again as it will drop. Now once you've raised it, the Kraken will grab on to parts of the vines that are holding the ship up, and then the Kraken will start to appear its head out and attack you. I think this tale is quite cool as you get to actually see the Kraken's head and you get to fight it fully. The Kraken may keep knocking off the cannons and so it may be difficult solo, but after a while, if you keep shooting at the Kraken's head, it will eventually disappear. Then jump off a ship to go to the ferry so you spawn in this little room that I'm in, and then follow where I'm going, go through this little tunnel, and shoot a piece of coral as you've been doing throughout the whole tale. Once you've shot this, the barrier will open and you'll be able to start the boss fight of the Siren Queen. Anyway, defeat the Queen and all her like minions, and once you've done this, she'll say, I cannot, I, as you can see on the screen, and then she'll beg for forgiveness from the Siren King. After you've done this, she'll disappear and the waters will start to lower. Now once the waters have lowered, you can go through this little tunnel here, and once you've done through this, shoot a piece of coral at the top, and once you've done that, you'll go into this small room. Then, shoot the mermaid statues to your left, and once you've shot all of them, just be careful because of hit reg, and you might not um, recognise that you've shot them like it did for me so many times. But anyway, once you've done that, the tale will complete, as your, your crewmates will have been freed. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I'm sorry this has been a bit of a longer video, but I hope this helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.